Meanwhile, a long bank west. <laughs> ah, that's a good now. Hi there, everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. Late night. <laughs> See, morning drink. Yep, rum. That'll do the trick. Wake me up a little bit. <laughs> so I'm dressed all up, styling sock today, mm. because today we're gonna buy ourselves a Rolls Royce. Yeah, it's not every day you get to do that. Now we gotta go along with all this money. We got all this kind of bling, but we 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 lack a Rolls Royce, <laughs> or at least another one anyway. Although you know, it's hard to say. Uh, I feel like we've got a couple of Rolls Royces because we've got the Z Type, as we'll see you know later on. And uh, I've also got the uh, the Roosevelt Roosevelt uh, Valor. Um, but in many ways, the Roosevelt Valor is a Albany car, and uh, the Z Type. I'm not sure if that would quite qualify as a Rolls Royce. Yeah, maybe a Bentley. But uh, they are the same company in this game. Enos. Hey, Lester. How you doing? Great. It's Rolls Royce Day. <laughs> I'm doing great. So let's have a look on the phone here. What time is it? 2.15. Hmm. Yeah, we can get started. It'll, it'll, morning will come up as we get our rolls. Yeah. So it's the last day of a sale, guys. So I'm going to try to post this right away so you guys have a few hours at least to get it um, tonight. And hopefully you can keep your eye open for it in the future if you're interested in getting it for any uh, future sales. Yeah, it is a newer car. It only just came out with After Hours. So it's got lots of time to come out on some future event week sales and things like that. So hopefully there'll be more discounts. The Enos Stafford, part of After Hours, seats four. Yeah, normally 1272000 And it's on sale right now, uh, the last day of the sale, for 25% off, which is 954000 Yep, Enos Stafford. Stafford drivers have a reputation for plowing through more pedestrians than any other consumer demographic. But don't trust the statistics. If you look closely, you'll see that the poor and disadvantaged are throwing themselves into the path of its cast iron radiator grill in healthy competition for the honor of being mown down by something this magnificent. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, hmm... Well, I don't know. I, I really like the black ones. It makes a great black limousine kind of rolls. Um, so maybe we'll order ours in black. But I think I'm going to change that, but we'll get to see the black one. Although this is a nice picture right here, so maybe you guys have already seen a black one. Hmm. That is a nice black one. What other good color? Uh, blues are actually kind of common, common, but you know, usually it'd be more of a royal blue. Maybe we'll try white. Yeah, we'll have a look at the white one before we change it. Why not? All right, and as you guys can see, the stock one has uh, white wall tires, so we'll go have a look. So let's buy that. Order now. Del Barrow Heights, just around the corner. Will be traditional. It's a traditional car anyway. <laughs> so sold. Thank you very much. Our Stafford will be delivered to your garage shortly. All right. Hey Benny. I need the uh, Roosevelt Valor. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll be going around the corner. <laughs> Depends on the day and the mood, to be honest with you, Penny. <laughs> What's cooking? Uh, Let yeah. me know. Uh, the valley? Yeah, let's do the valley. No problem. Tempting to go Z type too. Thank you very much, Penny. I will be a front. <laughs> I still think they ought to put you in your car or closer by, but you know it works. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a vintage four-door luxury sedan. And interesting about the uh, the um, uh, Enos Stafford is that it's actually a, uh, in the sedan's class. So it's not a um, uh, sports classic or anything like that, like you would guess. I would have guessed. There it is. Mm, Roosevelt Valor. I always like the uh, Rolls-Royce kind of things. Yep, in many ways, to some people, they were the original supercar, the original luxury supercars. Um, you know, part of, partly, I guess you could say part of the founding of uh, limousines, too, uh, you know, in the modern sense, too. Yep. Very cool. All right, well, that was worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, you got to act the part for, the, for buying rich vehicles. We don't walk, we take a car like that just around the corner. <laughs> Yeah, so this is also a throwback. Um, this was this car was in the uh, GTA San Andreas, but in that one it was a slightly different uh, Rolls Royce, though. But it, well, it is another throwback vehicle. 
Yeah, one of the latest vehicles, maybe the latest, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, with after hours, it's one of the latest. There it is, our new white Stafford. Wow, does she ever look nice too? Like a pearl. Hmm. So obviously guys, this is another collector car. I would not recommend this for pretty much anything <laughs> but collecting and uh, for uh, luxury low speed cruising. You know, so this is a nice slow cruiser meant for luxury cruising. And in real life, um, the Rolls Royces were meant for that too. You know, you didn't buy a Rolls Royce to go fast and things like that. Although they were known for things like their aircraft and, and uh, certain racing and things like that. But generally speaking, you bought a Rolls to roll in style. Mm, very nice. Where's the exhaust back here? Should be, yeah. Wow, really nice. So uh, this is uh, based on the uh, 1959 Silver Cloud Rolls Royce. That's what most people think anyway. It's always hard to say with Rockstar. And the front and rear hints at the Rolls-Royce 1955 Silver Wraith. Hmm. And uh, in general, you can find hints and all around, but I think it's just the general feel that some people feel like, you know, you, just, you, you see lots of little hints from the uh, Rolls-Royce Phantom 5. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's hop in, hear what it sounds like. All right, very cool. Yeah, so a lot of those names uh, for Rolls Royce, the Ghost, the Wraith, the, uh, the the Spirits and things like that, that little logo at the front, they'd have a little angel there that was the uh, Spirit of Ecstasy. <laughs> but a lot of those Ghosts and Wraith and Spectre names, uh, they all they all started, uh, Phantom names, I should say, they all started from it having the reputation of being a quiet car. So back in 1907 or things like that, like way back at the beginning of cars, they were very loud and noisy scare horses and things like that. The Rolls was meant to be luxurious and meant to be reliable and meant to be the best car, but it was also meant to be um, uh, quiet. And uh, and that's where the naming started with the Ghosts and the Wraith. Something I did not know. So I just thought they liked it or it was something to do with it, or but it was actually due to the quietness of the car. And then as time went on, it just became tradition. Mm, she's got more go than I thought she would for stock. You know, remember, it's an old collector car. I'm not expecting a lot from it <laughs> that way. It's got some good sound. Old-fashioned dash. Probably the same or very similar to the uh, Valor. They were driving earlier. Very cool. Open it up here. Nice. Lots of room for bodies. Lots of room for bodies in the front. And it's got the uh, the seating in the front, like twin seats, and then a bench in the back. Yeah, just like the rolls of those eras had. Oh, look at that. The hood. That's awesome. I have to hop out and have a look at that. Yeah, very cool. That's a cool looking, very traditional kind of Rolls Royce kind of opening uh, hood. That's awesome. Yeah, don't touch the rolls. <laughs> it would be a bad day for you to touch my new rolls. <laughs> no damage yet. Not yet. <laughs> All right, let's take it inside get it all upgraded so as you guys can see it's got the stock tires with the uh, white walls and uh, nice chrome rims I guess you could say traditional rims and one thing I like is it's white wall on both sides so white wall underneath it's not just white wall on this side but uh, it's a dual-sided white wall yep and I think even the inner rims got a little bit of a shiny chrome to it hmm. I'm happy with that already definitely looks like a rolls especially from the front Mm, looks very rich. Up we go to our supercar garage. Oh, I'm getting so many cars, it's, I don't know, I might have to spread them around. <laughs> very nice. So sometimes you have collector cars, you know, it's good to have, uh, we've talked about them before, you know, low speed cruisers. Some people have a regular car that they like, maybe a car that they want in real life. Not necessarily anything good, you know, like just something you liked maybe in real life or a Mustang or things like that or something, you know, somebody you knew had. 
you know. And then some people also want, as they go along, something rich, something blingy, something show offy, I guess you could say. Yeah, and this might qualify for you guys. Yeah. Next to that, um, I would say it's also good decoration, and that sounds funny, but uh, but you know, in the game we really spend a lot of money on some of these decorations, right? Like, you know, it's not so bad to really spend money on a car that's a decoration, like this one. You know, if you bought your new office and you're feeling all all rich guy, all kingpin, you might want to buy one of these and just put it in the first gar garage spot, just uh, to have it there as a decoration every time you come in, whether or not you drive it or not. <laughs> yeah. So now I'll take it into the mod shop, get it all ready. There's our Z-Type in the Roosevelt there. And this is probably where I'm going to leave it. Looks like it's uh, part of a set. I think they're kind of different cars, but they really go together for me. So, kind of sort of our Rolls-Royce collection. <laughs> Can't really call two of them a collection, right? That's more like a pair. But three of them, you can call three a collection. <laughs> I think. To me. I'm pretty sure. What were you looking for? We were looking for a very nice Rolls-Royce. Anything I can do? Anything at all? <laughs> Well, for now, let's just work on the car. Hey, it's got no uh, stars. That's strange. I just bought the car. And I'm not lying to you guys. I've never seen this car in the uh, in the uh, garage before. But it's got no uh, stars on the things except for the livery. Hmm, interesting. No, I've driven this. Uh, there is, you do drive one of these in the mission for um, uh, the after hours mission to unlock the, uh, uh, I think it was the last DJ. Oh no, maybe it was Tale of Us. Yeah, and you escort them back in on Stafford. A gold one, if I remember right. Or a beige one. Yep. And actually, if you ask me, the $1,272,000 price tag for this is actually not too bad. And I hate saying that, because it is an expensive cruiser, you know, it's a useless vehicle that's only good for decoration, it's already $1.2 But when it first came out, you know, when, when you know, like if you look at Rockstar's uh, modern pricing on a lot of their newer supercars and all that kind of stuff and all the properties, you know, if, you, if they had told you they were coming out with a Rolls Royce, I think a lot of people would have guessed more than $1.2 yeah, For what that's worth. So let's get it an armor upgrade. Protect it, 50,000. And brakes for 35,000. And an engine upgrade, level four for 33,500. Is the kind of engine I like to work on. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, a classic Rolls Royce engine, yeah. Horn, hmm, what's it? I didn't hit the horn, did I? Let's see what the uh, stock horn sounds like. So this is truck horn. We don't want that. <laughs> this is the stock horn. Oh, nice. Well, not nice, but <laughs> but it's uh sounds uh sounds old. Sounds uh, different than the regular cars. So I'm gonna keep that stock horn. Headlights. See on lights. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It gives it a nice cool uh, look. One of the times I might have left stock lights, but I think xenon lights are still good. Looking good. Thank you. Alright, now we're gonna go with those liveries too. Let's change our plate. There Your we go. Thank you. All right, liveries. Now there's some stuff for us to talk about in here, guys. So <laughs> you can give it flames, blue flames, radials. And I'm going to look at these afterwards. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick any of these. I think I'm going to do a clean rolls. Um, so we'll look at these now. Um, but I might come back and see what they look like on my paint job and see if they're uh, any acceptable ones. Yep, broke. It's kind of cool. So some kind of vintage -y patterns. Neoclassical, gothic decor, hmm, that's kind of nice, that might go with some different uh, paint jobs. Rusty Enos, <laughs> yeah I forgot this one has a rusty one, which I think is kind of cool for good for role play purposes and things like that, but also for those of you who have a rat rod collection and things like that, or a rust rod, uh, rusty car collection, you know, like why not have a rusty rolls? <laughs> uh, not me, but you know. There's the Oenus Livery, which is free. Yeah. I wonder if it's free just for thank, thanking us when it came out, or free because of the John Lennon reference. Yeah. So this is apparently a reference to the John Lennon uh, Rolls Royce. So John Lennon had a famous Rolls Royce that was done up similar to this one. Yeah. Now you would think the Red Lennon reference, there's a hippie one coming up here, kind of funky, psychedelic one, and you would think that would be more John Lennon, but no, if you look at the closely, the uh, John Lennon car, I'll pop up a picture here. Um, and then you look at the uh, the patchwork on this one, you can see the similarities that they're going for. So yeah, John Lennon uh, limousine, or John Lennon Rolls Royce, very cool. 
And then there's for Queen and Country. Yeah. And I hope you guys can get this, but I'm not sure if you can. It, might, uh, it doesn't say it's locked for anybody, so... But uh, some of these came out, and I did not like how they locked some of them for uh, certain times that you had to log in and certain parts of the After Hours guest list. Uh, it was okay, but, was, but I always hoped that they'd unlock them later on for everybody. Maybe over the holidays, who knows, maybe. I doubt it, but it'd be a good idea. So there you go, if you want something else for Austin Powers. <laughs> or just for because. Pretty awesome. Yep. Make peace, not war. And that's the uh, psychedelic one I was talking about, very tie-dye. Yep, very cool. And it reminds me, as far as I know, there isn't really a Volkswagen Beetle in the game still. Not that I care about that, but it's kind of one of those car types that we don't really see around that you'd think you'd see some. But a paint job like that makes you think of the old ones. It's even got the flower at the back. <laughs> all right, so that is all the libraries. And yep, a, uh, a John Lennon reference. Yep, and some cool different libraries in there. I do like the Gothic decor and a couple other ones. Okay, so back to what we were doing. We finished off at our lights and the library and the plate. I might change again, but we'll we'll leave that for now. Respray, suspension. Lowered suspension. Yeah, we'll lower it down. 3,400. Transmission, super transmission for 50,000. Windows. Hmm. Limo tint. Yeah. You need a limo tint. Now it's got a very classic limo look. Making decisions is stressful. All right. Now wheels. As I said before, I'm going to keep the stock wheel. So I don't think I'm going to really change anything with that. I might uh, give it some uh, bulletproof tires. Those things are almost indestructible. Yeah. Never know when I'm going to need this for gangster type situations <laughs> and tire smoke I don't know if I really need any we'll give it black why not yeah I don't think there's anything else we can really do there so that's good that is done so not too many options with the car but again this is one of those cars that has the whole entire car is an option it's not a car you see on the road every day or it doesn't spawn with traffic so it's not a car you see at all unless somebody else is driving one <laughs> Let's go into the respray. There's turbo. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give it some turbo. Why not? The cops stop you? Don't tell them I installed that. <laughs> they won't be stopping me. Although they might be catching up to me in this. <laughs> but they won't stop us. Alright, so it does have a trim color. I, I didn't think it would. But it does. Good. So that changes all the bench seating. Not the white lines on it, just the bench seating main color. Oop, sorry guys. And it does not change the dashboard at all or anything. All the wood paneling stays. Just the main coloring. I just wanted to see, just for a second. For secondary. Technology and budget permit. Yeah. So I, that is right. Cool. So if you look at those seating, let me go back inside. The seat lines, ah, oh, they don't give you any really good views. I'll have to zoom in. But the uh, little, um, I guess you could say the stitching. So see the white lines on the seats in there? And as you go through the colors, they change. So your secondary color controls this on the side here, this bottom half. But it also controls the uh, seat lines inside too, inside the trim on the inside interior. And the bottom paneling at the back too. So brighten it up just so you guys can see those lines. So you really have two interior colors, your secondary color and uh, the trim color. Okay, moving on. I think I know what I want, but we'll go through those colors for you guys. So metallic. All right. So it's got the white undercoat, so it's just a solid color right now. There's an idea what a black one would look like, which is awesome, if you ask me. And silvers, and we might do a silver. Do you need a drink? Silver is very classic. In real life, they had lots of silver paints and pewter paints and things like that. 
but you could find them in all kinds of colors. Yeah, blues. Whatever you think is a nice, rich color for it. But a lot of these off colors that you don't often oh, use look really good on cards like this. And if you ask me, royal blues and things like that, you know, maybe we mix with some silver or black, look really good too. All right, so there's some colors. I don't know if anybody would want a matte color with this, but I suppose so. You could go gangster. <laughs> yep. Classic, all chrome, very blingy. <laughs> But perhaps too much, but it does work. And metals, which is what I'm thinking I'm going to go with, but I'm not sure. It might be a silver metals mix. And I might even go down to Los Santos Custom and do the uh, metals per lesson trick that we've been doing lately. But I am going for silver, so I might be happy with just the way it is. So we'll get it ready and go from there. So there's brushed steel. Brushed black steel. Making brushed aluminum. Pure gold and brushed gold. And you could definitely do a gold one, but I don't know if you think that might be too much. But why not? It is a roll. Yep. All right. Hmm. Let's go to that secondary color first. That's what I think. Uh, metals. All right. Brushed Life aluminum. Brushed black steel. It's brighter in between and darker. Let's try the brush steel. And then go to our primary and metals. There's the solid brushed steel. Brushed black steel, which is what I'm thinking about. Brushed aluminum would also look good and gives you that slightly blue tone almost. And like I said, if you, if you, uh, that's kind of what I was thinking about if I did do the matte burlesque, it's something similar near that, a slightly, you know, just blue to it, tint to it, just for a little bit of a royal blue look. But that said, I do like that silver. And I don't know if I'm going to need the pearlescent trick for that. <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, if I was, it'd be to maybe test to see what a black pearlescent or something would look like. Or brighten it up, but I think it's uh, already bright enough. It's got plenty of shine. Just like that. And you could do other things with the silver paint jobs that would give you uh, similar results too. Just pick something a little lighter and a little darker and if you wanted to off-tone it so you could have that two-tone look. Yeah, so I'm going to go in for a silver ghost kind of look, which is, this is not exactly the, uh, the, the car for that. Silver ghost is an older car, but uh, still kind of that style, which I think is very rich, very blingy. You know, to me, that's like very high end um, without going as far as gold, <laughs> you know, gold to me, although I, I appreciate gold on the right car, but gold to me is sometimes going too far. But uh, if I was to go too far and yet still be comfortable in it, it'd be either be like something like that, the silvers and stuff. Mm, that's nice. So, brushed black she steel. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? Really does. <laughs> okay, trim color. Oh, and you hear that? I think I did hear that. It's got sound resistant windows. There's only a few vehicles in the game that actually have those. So listen again and you'll hear the background noise. That's the, the office emptiness. That white noise. No rush at all. And then now I'm gonna switch back in. Cool. Well, that's a nice little detail. Yeah, good to know. Okay. Now pop out on the scene. So for that color here, well, um, trim color back in there. Well, black is always nice and traditional. And uh, ice white would go with certain types. Actually, it still goes with this one. And similar types like the beige. You can go with any color that matches your stuff. But otherwise, a nice traditional look might be something like a brown. So you get that nice leather look. So that's the chocolate brown, which I like to use on some cars. But in this one, it looks a little dark. I could take off my sunglasses. But. Making decisions <laughs> is stressful. Yeah, it's pretty dark on this one. 
but that's okay. You might want a dark leather. But I think I want something a little bit brighter on this one. Maybe the felts are brown. Hmm. Yeah, because it looks like it matches that wood paneling just a little bit better. Maple brown. Beechwood brown. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that beechwood brown or the maple brown. Whatever you desire, technology and budget permit. Black, black is nice. Hmm. No, nope, I think I'm decided on that beechwood brown. But that maple's not bad. It might even match better. But the beech, the beechwood brown, I kind of like. I think it's brighter than the chocolate, but still keeps a dark look to it. Yeah. No, oh, like I said, I think the maple brown might actually match better, but this kind of gives it just a darker look without being a black seating and without being as dark as the uh, chocolate brown. Picky, but you know, I don't know. It's rolls. Gotta take your time with it, I guess. <laughs> All right, now, yeah, no other options like our exhaust or anything like that. But it is already chromed out, which is nice. So for those of you that don't have chrome unlocked, it, all the bumpers and all that stuff already are chromed. So that's kind of nice. It's got chrome uh, lines, chrome paneling, chrome trim, pinstriping. I don't know what you'd call that, but they're already built in, so that's nice. Okay, that's my usual yellow and black. The white went with the white, but I think yellow and black is probably better on the silver anyway. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, yeah. I was going to say there's something else. Yeah, libraries. So, just have a look. Flames. Apparently, it adds a side panel almost. These are all yellow all along the windows now. Blue flames. <laughs> It makes me laugh seeing flames on it rolls like that. Radials. And this is what I mean if it worked with my paint job. So that does kind of work. I don't think I'm going to do that, but it gives you a subtle detail. Broke. Neoclassic. Gothic decor. Rusty Enos. There's a metal rusted. There's John Lennon. Queen and Country. Almost looks the same, even in metal, just slightly shinier. Shinier British flag. <laughs> Union Jack. Make peace, not war. That's that. No, I think I'm pretty happy with it. It is tempting if I was to pick one. You know, if I if you guys were doing something similar and you wanted a detail in there, I like that Gothic decor. And maybe neoclassical. But Gothic decor is just like a little bit of... That is nice. See, it has just a little bit of extra detail in there. And uh, you have to kind of look at it to notice it, you know. You may not notice it right away. Hmm, actually. It's tempting. To look like, like that? That's clean, that's nice. That's clean, rich guy. Yeah, yeah you know, I think I talked myself into it. <laughs> Gothic decor it is, 23,370. Yeah, I do like some of the other ones, but... But I think uh, it is subtle enough that you barely notice it and it just adds a little bit of extra rich guy detail. All right, let's exit the ground. See you next time. Yeah, next day. I'm very happy with that one. Yeah, what up? Good? Hmm. Very shiny. It is what it is, you know? Yeah, man, fuck you. I <laughs> got a nice thick like sounding horn too you know deep sounding it's awesome is this really happening this is really happening <laughs> a Rolls Royce 
What the hell? Nice interior too. I think that made an improvement. Hello? Oh, hey. I'm the same. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Very cool. There she is. Yeah. Nina Stafford Sedan. Yeah. So when I first came out, I was a little unsure because, like I said, it was, uh, well, in every way, it's not a, not something you want to race in, not something you want to, you know, it's it's uh, it's not a performance car in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but it seats four, and it looks really good. And it's a uh, definitely collector car. And like I said, as you guys can see here, it just makes a great decoration too. Just park that at your penthouse or or at your um, your nightclub or right in the office garage. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, let's take it over to the club actually. And let's see if we can finish up with a uh, with a drink. With the last drink of every evening, the Macbeth. <laughs> Still haven't got the key flom shirt. And you think those guys, the, um, oh, I forget the name of the cult right now, does the key flom stuff. But yeah, with Michael, you'd know that they'd be after a guy like me, trying to get me to donate money. Well, see that swing, too? I'll try that again. But you can see the car's got a rock back and forth to it. There we go. So, see how I can pull this turn and you'll just see it lean heavily. So it's got that old car kind of ooh, like a like a boat, <laughs> you know, like a big boat, rocking back and forth. So it kind of slides, leans over. Wow, wow. Yep. But it's got that Rolls Royce feel and the length and the, uh, the the longness of it. Plus, it's actually a higher sedan. So people talk about that. You're actually higher off the road than a lot of other cars are. It's hard to tell though. It's only a subtle difference. Yeah, and performance wise it's actually better than I thought it would be. I'm I'm uh, probably accelerating a lot more than I normally drive it, but just to test it out. But I'd suggest this one for like cruising along, you know. Cruising along in your automobile. Hmm. Yeah, very, very happy with that. And we'll just bring it up front. And we'll go in and get a last drink for you guys. Try it for that key flam shirt again. You have to ask for a special pot muffin, and then they take you in the back. That's the coded signal. <laughs> That's the coded signal. <laughs> hey. Hi, boss. All right. Things are good, Marzell. Good to see you, Bob. Good to see you too. Yeah. All right. Rolls Royce owner. I haven't seen her in a while. We'll give her a chance. Sure. Well, maybe why not? We haven't had many vodka shots. All right. Here's one to our ro new Rolls Royce. <laughs> new Kingpin vehicle. Moving up in the world. It's always nice to have that feeling. Yeah. That's good. I know we're not done. Next. All right. And the Macbeth whiskey shot. <laughs> there we go. Bring it up. Big day. Maybe we'll even get a shirt. Got a Rolls Royce. Now they gotta want me in the club now. They gotta want me in the club now. <laughs> I got money. Why am they gold? <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. All right, so uh, thanks. I'm good. I'll see you later. Oh my guys, like so awesome! Yeah. Oh, bravo! 
she doesn't know. I just no. Nope. <laughs> I was gonna hide in the corner, <laughs> but he just went down like that. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, guys. Oh, I didn't get any on my. You closed down. Uh, no key fob shirt. <laughs> Again. <sighs> Do I have any money to tip this guy? No. Nope. Yeah, key flom. Yeah, you key flom. <laughs> But now I know where we're off to. This car's gotta let us get in now. Yeah. This car will be our ticket. <laughs> Move on up to the rich side of town. Rice coming through. <laughs> well, let's see, where is that house? All these houses are really nice, actually. Yeah, it'd be nice if we got the customizable mansions one day. Hopefully, one day soon. Maybe that's what they've got planned. Hopefully, because this would be a great car to have on decoration at your mansion too. But yeah, it's actually a better performance than I thought it would be. Like I said, though, most other sedans would probably beat it, though. Isn't there another entrance? That's the one entrance. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, they let us in. They don't know. They just see the car. <laughs> All right, we're in. Definitely would not have opened if not for that car. <laughs> All right, what night is it? It's a Thursday night party. Uh, well, that's okay. Better than a Monday night. Not as good as a Friday. We'll have to see if we can make some friends and come back. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. That has been our uh, Rolls Royce episode. <laughs> our Enos Stafford. Yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks to all our Patreon supporters. Thanks for being here, everybody. And yeah, hopefully you guys like the the, uh, the Enos Stafford. Might get one for yourself and now or while it's still on sale or in the future. Yep, yeah, a little bit of a bling mobile. Or something for role play or something for us decoration. There's a lot of reasons. But I would not suggest racing with it necessarily. Yeah. Let's see if somebody around here is impressed with my rolls. Somebody out here has got to want to take a ride in the rolls, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Hey everybody. <laughs> Who wants to take a ride in the road? <laughs> take care everybody. I'll see you back soon. I really love my car. It's perfect. Oh, hi. Me too. Yeah, I really love my car too. <laughs>
Yeah. Awesome. 